We're not going to sit here in silence and tear. All right, so we might as well just sing. Yeah, well, can we do that? Yeah. This is just, just too quiet for me. <laughs> <laughs>
Glory to your conception that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, for the remission of your sins. Amen. Amen. Amen.
from your audiences uh, this morning. We want to uh, we'll have some some uh, unfamiliar faces there. We will be happy to have you in our audience. Uh, we just do not try to embarrass you. Just want to stand and let us know who you are, and we just want you to know that you're welcome here at the, the top of the street. <coughs> Saturday, uh, as the Lord says the same, we're going to do a, a monthly uh, come over and to uh, sanitize the building at 9, 9, 9 a.m. You know, the more um, uh, we can get folks to just do some aspects of the, of the sanitation, uh, sanitizing the building, we will, uh, the quicker we get out, we have, a, we have a great time uh, doing this and but also fellowship one with another. So, Thank you. 
Yeah. We pray that everything we say and do this day will be pleasing and acceptable in thy sight. No. This prayer we do ask in our son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.
after this, so that we will have a scripture reading and then a second prayer.
we love him, but the Lord has shut up her womb. Mm -hmm. And her adversary also provoked her sword, mm -hmm. for to make her fret, because the Lord has shut up her womb. Mm -hmm. And as he did so year by year, when she went up to the house of the Lord, so she provoked her. Therefore she wept and did not eat. Mm -hmm. Then said Elkanah, her husband, to her, Hell, why weepest thou? And why eatest thou not? And why is thy heart grieved? Am I not better to thee than ten sons? Mm -hmm. So Hannah rose up after they had eaten in Shiloh, and after they had drunk. Mm -hmm. Now Eli the priest sat upon a seat by a post of the temple of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And she was in bitterness of soul, and prayed unto the Lord, and wept sore. And she bowed by, and said, O oh, Lord of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid, and remember me, and forget, and not forget thine handmaid, but will give unto thine handmaid a man child, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life, and there shall no razor come upon his head. And it came to pass that she continued praying before the Lord that Eli marked her mouth. Mm -hmm. Now Hannah, she spake in her heart, only her lips moved, mm -hmm. but her voice was not heard. Mm -hmm. Therefore Eli thought she had been drunk. Mm -hmm. And Eli said unto her, How long wilt thou be drunk? Put away thy wine from thee. And Hannah answered and said, No, my lord, I am a woman of a soft spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but have poured out my soul before the Lord. No. Count not thine handmaid for a daughter of Belial, mm -hmm. for out of the abundance of my complaint and grief have I spoken hitherto. No. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant thee thy petition thou, that thou hast asked of him. No. And she said, let thine handmaid find grace in thy sight. Mm -hmm. So the woman went her way and did eat, and her countenance was no more sad. No. Yeah. And they rose up in the morning early and worshipped before the Lord, no. and returned and came to their house to Ramah. And Elkanah knew Hannah, his wife, and the Lord remembered her. No. Wherefore it came to pass, when the time was come about after, come about after Hannah had conceived, that she bare a son, and called his name Samuel, Amen. saying, Because I have asked him of the Lord. Amen. I have read before you here in 1 Samuel, the first chapter, verses 1 through 20. Amen. May the God continue to have a blessing to the heirs and doers of his word. Those who are able to stand, let us together stand for an intercessory prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, yeah. Father, we bow before you this morning with many thanks, Father, in our hearts, mm -hmm. knowing it was you, Father, who opened our eyes this morning, yeah. Yeah. giving us our right mind, Father, and blessed us. Yeah. To dress ourselves, Father, and prepare to travel to this designated place. Amen. Father, that we might worship you in spirit and in truth. Amen. We thank you, Father, for this occasion. Amen. The greatest privilege that ever been given to mankind. Amen. Remind of him who created man Amen. from the dust of the ground and breathed in his nostrils. Amen. Rest of life, the man became the living soul. Amen. Father, I stand before you this day, realizing there's nothing great that I have done to even earn, Father, the privilege and opportunity to call upon a holy and righteous God in the Lord of heaven. Amen. But Father, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for this great privilege. Amen. Pray, Father, that you be blessed. My brothers and sisters in Christ, 
all over this world, Father, bless us. Yeah. To, to continue to look to you, Father. Mm -hmm. We know what's going on in this world. Yeah. Yeah. But we also know, Father, who are in control. Yeah. Yeah. And it is you, Father, who yeah. prays to bless yeah. us. To look to the hill which cometh out. No. <laughs> Depend on you, Father, and not on ourselves. Amen. Look unto you, Father, the author and finisher of our faith. Amen. Amen. And Father, we want to approach your throne of mercy. No. This morning, in the name of Jesus Christ. No. The great privilege, Father, has been granted to this congregation. No. Precious souls have been baptized. Been baptized Amen. into Christ for the remission of our sins. Amen. Pray, Father, that you would bless us as brothers and sisters in Christ to gather around the earth and help us to contend for the faith Amen. and watch for the to the saints. Be mindful, Father, the brother Walker, who shall stand before us, giving us strength and courage Amen. and remembrance of your holy. And divine word, Father, giving the power to deliver the word, Father. We are not ashamed of the gospel of Amen. Jesus Christ, Amen. but it is your power, Amen. Father. Bless us and keep us in your care. Amen. Father, bless us and press on. Amen. One day, Father, when this world is no longer, then give us a boarding home. Amen. We know that Jesus Christ Amen. promised he's going to prepare a place for us. Amen. Amen. Place, Father, where there is neither death nor pain nor crime. No. Pray that you would bless us and hold on yes. to your eternal word, Father, to, no. no. to save our soul. No. In the final consummation of time, no. one day, Father, we'll be at home with you. No. In Christ's name we pray and give you thanks. Amen. 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 Yeah. 
this awesome privilege Amen. 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 to assemble ourselves together and to worship Him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Amen. We're just grateful for everyone that's here. Amen. We are grateful for everyone who may be screaming. Amen. 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 God good. Amen. Amen. He made it possible so that we can send the message of the gospel just through the air. Amen. Amen. Yeah, you just got to have a receiver on the other end. Amen. So those of you who are watching over the internet, what they call Facebook Live, we certainly thank you for being uh, with us uh, this morning. Amen. Uh, you'll love the audience. Amen. Something's happening. Something, something's happening. Yeah. More of us in here than it typically has been over the last Amen. six weeks. Amen. Maybe turn in the morning, all right? Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. I thank God for those that are here, but we want to make sure I always caution folks. God is real. Amen. 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 But let's not be foolish. Amen. Amen. All right, all right. Amen. Amen. There is still not a cure for this life. Amen. Okay. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but when they tell me it's not a cure, I don't leave it. Amen. All right? So that means we have to be proactive. Amen. Right? And making sure uh, that we're taking the right precautions. Amen. And making sure that we are not the ones who are going to be accused mm -hmm. of, of furthering the spread of this virus. Amen. Amen. I, I looked at my calendar. Guess what it's over? Before it came, it was Sunday, so it was Mother's Day. Yeah. Amen. I stayed flashing across my screen this morning and said, Mother's Day. Amen. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. I hate to tell some people, but every day is Mother's Day. Amen. Amen. Yeah. He, he, he was helping the mother too. Yeah. Yeah. He ran into that 
help and then guess what? She said, I, I, I don't have a husband, and, but I, I made it dead. And, 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 and I'm afraid that the authorities are going to come and put my sons in jail. Am I right about that? Oh, no, no, no. I said, no, no, we're not going to do this. We're not going to do this. Am I right about that? Go tell your sons to go borrow some empty vessels, some empty pots. Am I right about that? Yeah, yeah, and when you shut the door, just keep on. Right. Am I right about it? Just keep on. Mm -hmm. Just keep on. See, see, God has a way of protecting mothers. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. Remember the Shunammite woman? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she, she had an affection for the man of God. So yeah. her husband, we need to do something. We're going to build a little room. Right. Am I right about it? We're going to put a little bed in there. We're going to have a stand, and we're going to have a candlestick in there. So if he just turns in, he knows he has a place to stay. Yeah. She didn't have any children. I'm all right about it. But guess what Elisha did? He made a promise. There, yeah, yeah. Next year about this time. Just wait till I come back through. And you're going to tell me about the good news because you're going to have what? You're going to have a sin. So we understand that motherhood is is is, is been held in the highest esteem. We've been studying about uh, uh, Jacob and we, we understand what he went through. Uh, but, but, but we understand that, 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 that God blessed her. Right. No. God blessed her. Am I right about it? Yes. To be a mother. God blessed her to be a mother. Sarah was blessed to what? Be a mother in the whole world. Right. right. And even God said, you know what? I got to send my son to the world. No. Yeah. I got to send my son to the world. Yeah. Now, 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 listen, listen. Now, 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 God could have been a lot of faith right. to send Jesus into the world. Yeah. Am I right about it? Right. Yeah. He, he could have just been one that showed up. Just show up. Right. But no, what did God say? I need to borrow a womb. Yeah. Right. I got I to borrow a womb because I've already started something. Yeah. And I don't want to go against what I've already seen. Yeah. Am I right about it? Right. Even though he is my son, uh -huh. I've got to show people that I'm not going to do anything that's going to violate what I've already started. Amen. So even Jesus yeah. came and walked. In his earthly form, uh -huh. through a mother. Yeah. Yeah. So we thank God for all mothers here. Yeah. Those of you who are present, those of you who are viewing, if you are a mother, if you are a grandmother, yeah. if you are a great grandmother, yeah. do we have any here great greats? No great greats? Yeah. We got great greats? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, she said, I got so many, she was trying to count them. She was trying to count them. I'm trying to, well, she said, I'm trying to count all of them. Come around about us. We, we got a great grade in here. I'm all right about that. Yeah, yeah, and as Brother Thompson said in our Bible class, we got the, we, we, there's a great grade too. And God bless you. God bless you. Glad to see her here today. That's what she's doing. Amen. Got something to say about her a little later. But Brother Thompson said something about grandmothers this morning. Sometimes they don't they don't get the credit they deserve. Yeah. But that, that will never be the case with me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that. I'm gonna tell you that right now. That will never be the case with me. And I know I can speak for my sister in the flesh. Yeah, that will never be the case for us. You see, on April 20th, 1966, our biological mother was laid to rest. Yeah, yeah we didn't grow up with mom like that. But you know what? Her mother stepped in. After raising what she would always remind us, her five dead children. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Just like indelibly etched in my mind. I raised five dead children. You know, you, know, you thought you were all of that. She, she had to remind you who he was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I raised five dead children. Y'all can't be around here telling me anything. Mm -hmm. She did a magnificent job. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Every knot that she gave. I earned it. 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 Yeah. I definitely have fond memories of yeah. my mother. Yeah. Every time that I look at my niece and I call her name, because she's named after our mother, Denise. Yeah, yeah, it just brings back those memories. My sisters may not have it, she's a little younger than I am. You know, she, 
She will always be young. <laughs> she will always be young. You know? but, but I do have memories of our mom. They are just as vivid as they were way back. But I want to say that that we can have fond memories of mothers. But there are some things that are very, very raw to mothers today. Because we're dealing with some mothers that have lost their children. And we pray for them like our time. Because mom had to say farewell to one of the boys. Right. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a constant reminder mm -hmm. that one of my children is not here. So we pray for her. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sister Frida Thomas. Yeah. She had to say farewell to her daughter. While we are saying Happy Mother's Day, it may not be as happy as some of us. But see, that tells you something about mothers. They, they, they are there for the good as well as the bad. What about that mother down in Georgia? But she knew her son was killed. And then she had to watch the game.
Just got a call yesterday right across the street. The McCoy family. Mrs. McCoy passed away. Amen. So there are a lot of mothers that were in the neighborhood that are no longer around. But I thank God when I, I look at Mama's house, she's still here. And that's a gift from God. Amen. And pray for her every day because she has her struggle, she has her ups and downs. But God, we thank that she is still amongst the land of the Amen. Amen. Today I just want to talk to us a little bit about the profile of a godly mother. Amen. Amen. As I said, mother shapes society. Amen. And even today in this modern era, I, I still believe that the goal of becoming a godly mother he is the highest and most noble pursuit of woman. God is especially equipped women yep. just for the task. Amen. Not only biological, but he's wired mothers different than fathers. I've discovered this. There are certain things that mothers care about. Daddies would not give a second thought. Yeah. I'm just being honest with you. That's true. I can look at my wife sometimes, and she, I mean, our kids are grown. But she cares so much about them. And if you can't turn that switch off. So I just learned how to just say one word and move on. Because see, two words will get me in trouble. Amen. So I, I got to say something, but, but I just say one word. I just leave it right away. I can't, I, I move on. Because she's going to do what she's going to do. <laughs> just something about mom. Yeah. But God did that. I, I didn't do that. And, and he, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't ask me to understand it. Because right. I swear I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> and here we have a story of woman. Go show us some things. And the principles in this story, Anna, Pananiah, Elkina, they're the principles in the story. Now I do have to pause here for one moment and have us to understand that God at one time believed in belief. He allowed but every time you read of polygamous relationships in the Bible, they always come with some trouble. Amen. Y'all examine. Amen. Amen. It always comes with some drama. Now I'm, I'm, I'm reading a little closer because there, there may not have been too much. In Jacob's time, because you remember Jacob, right? Oh, yeah. Who did he have? Leah and Rachel. Leah and Rachel. So it, it may not have been too much because they were actually biological sisters. Right. But the rest of these political relationships, there was always some trouble amongst those quote unquote wives or handmaids. Right. Right. It lets us understand God from the beginning said that guess what? There should only be one. one woman and one man. Amen. 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 So now we, we, we have this, this, this situation, this, this, this rivalry between the wives, if you will. But we have to pay attention to him because that's what we're focusing on right now. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I keep reading the story and, and somebody should have handed Penaniah a, a, a yellow card. <laughs> yeah. Every time I read this, somebody should have told her, pulled her aside. Eli should have pulled her aside if she came to church that day and said, Sister, you need to repent. Because <laughs> she had a bad attitude. She had a very bad attitude. But, 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 but nonetheless, we, we see here that the first thing I want us to see in the story is, is, is that 
that the one of the portraits of a godly mother is that she is going to be devoted to her husband. Now, now, usually when we talk about mothers, we talk about the relationship that they have with the children. No. I, I can't discount that, but, but, but me as a husband, I'm not going to take second place. Because no. every time my children used to rise up, I used to tell them, I said, listen, uh, uh, she was my wife before she was your mom. <laughs> Amen. Right, let's not try to get ahead of me. <laughs> Amen. All right? And, and I do have a place. In the back. So, 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 uh, uh, Hannah uh, showed us that uh, one of the characteristics of a godly mother is, is not primarily going to be with her children, but is going to be to her husband. Amen. I need to pause. I need to pause. I need to pause. I have to pause. Because as the time goes on, we see, even in the church, that this is out of whack. Oh. Right? Yeah. We have a lot of mothers and husbands. I mean, yeah. mothers and children. Yeah. But they don't come with us. Yeah. Now, I'm not indicting that. I never will indict that. I say you do the best you can. Because God is going to hold you responsible for what you do with the child. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I just need to tell you that God always had a plan for you from the beginning of what a family unit would look like. Amen. Right. And sometimes in the church when we talk about mothers, we talk about fathers, we talk about families, that there are some folks that get their feelings a little hurt because they say that really doesn't apply to me. Right. I'm not talking about the exception. I'm right now I'm talking about the rules. Right. All right? right. And, and, and in your singleness as a mother, you'll be the best mother you can. Amen. 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 That's what God wants you to do. Amen. But just because I'm talking about the marriage, how it's supposed to be, I'm not indicting anyone. Mm -hmm. I'm just letting you understand that God always had a plan. That's right. And the plan was that, that, that the wife would be devoted to her husband mm -hmm. because the communication from that relationship is going to stay with the children for the rest of their life. That's right. That is the reason why I tell mothers, if you are single and you may have had a problem with daddy not doing what he's supposed to do, amen. 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 Say amen. 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 Your job is not to bash daddy no. and poison the children's mind. That's right. Amen. 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 Okay? That, that's, that's not what this is about. No. Right? You, you, you're no good daddy, you know, he never would have done, you know, like, no, 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 no. And no, 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 no. If you want to be a godly mother, you just let God step in with that in. Amen. Amen. But there are certain things that only can be communicated through mother and father to those children. That's right. That's why we got to have strong families in the church. Amen. When you talk about love and, and, and sacrifice, integrity, when even when you talk about sympathy, compassion, understanding, what it means to forgive, every once in a while, the children need to see that there are times that mama and daddy are not getting along, but then they need to see mama and daddy make up. Amen. 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 Those are the lessons that need to be taught at home. Amen. There are certain things that I can not call right here just for a minute. There are certain things the church cannot do. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I'm always very strong and very keen on what the church can and cannot do. Amen. Mm -hmm. The church is not responsible for raising your children. Amen. Yeah. That's, right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. The church is here to provide assistance. Yeah. Amen. But we don't take the place of it. No. That's right. And if there's Bible teaching to be done, guess where? Well, it should be done at home, That's reinforced right. when they come yeah. here. That's right. Yeah. I'm just speaking the truth. Amen. Uh, we put too much responsibility on the church. Amen. Yeah. Well, the church ain't doing this, the church ain't doing that. What you doing? Amen. Uh, see, it was my job at home to make sure my children knew the books of the Bible. Amen. That's right. Yeah, so when they get to Sunday school, guess what? They know it. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. It was my time to, to go over those Bible characters with them where? At home. Mm -hmm. Amen. And all they do when they get to church, guess what? We reinforce what I've already been doing what? Amen. 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 That's right. Preach. Back to being devoted to the husband. 
There is something that is ever evident between Elkanah and Hannah. First of all, we understand that they were dedicated to God. No. We see often that they're what? They're going to worship. Right. Am I right about that? Right. Verse number three, we, we, we see him going where? Going up to worship. worship. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And then, then later on, guess what? We find him where? In worship. You remember Hannah when she prayed? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so that there, there was something that we have to understand that the portrait of a godly mother is how she establishes a strong relationship with her husband. Right. Yeah. We can see here, Hannah's not a troublemaker. No. no. Yeah, you know, because if she had an adversary, you know her, right? right? The Bible says she had sons and daughters. Yeah. Right. right? And she used to rub it where? In a place, because we understand the Jewish culture, guess what? You really didn't feel your worth unless you brought forth a child, and that child was a lady. Right. Now, I read about it. Right. So here we have one that doesn't have children, right. uh huh, one who got a gaggle of them, and, mm -hmm. and she just rubbing it well in her face. Mm -hmm. But we can see where Elkanah sort of had his true affection. Because he said now, when, when portions of food had to be doled out, he gave to Benaiah just what was enough. But when he turned to Hannah, guess what? He gave her what? He gave her double. Am I right about it? But see, that food wasn't the problem. See, the problem was that you had this other chick. Y'all don't excuse me. I'll excuse you, all right? You, you, you had her over here saying, oh, I got the kids, you may have the food, but I got the kids. You see what I'm saying? And that caused what? It caused some friction. But you never saw Hannah acting out we understand that, that, that as I look at this, that she may have gone into some depression because she had stopped eating. Uh-huh. And, 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 and her husband went to her. Y'all look at verse number eight. I'm just walking through the text. I'm just telling you about this relationship that she had with her husband. She wasn't here fussing and fighting. I'm all right about it. But see, because see, Sarah was cut of a different cloth. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. And she was cut of a different cloth. Here you know when it came out, she, and Sarah came home. Yeah, <laughs> right. 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 So this boy comes along, right. and all of a sudden now, he's going to rise up and make fun of Sarah because she didn't have any kids. And guess what Sarah said? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Somebody got to go, and it's not me. Right. Am I right about it? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Y'all got to get to step. Right. Am I right about it? Right. Abraham thought about this thing, and God said, no, you never let go. Right. God was protecting him. Right. This thing was about to go blow up. Yeah. Am I right about it? But Hannah had a different spirit. Right. See, like she internalized this to the point that she stopped. Right. Now look, 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 look what her husband said. Look what her husband said. Verse number eight. I like this. I like this. I like this. Because he, he showed up had to know that their relationship was really great. Mm -hmm. To say something like this. Then said Elkanah. Then sell Elkanah to her. Her husband to her. Why are you proud? Why are you proud? Why are you proud? Uh-huh. And why do you sell not? Why aren't you eating? Why is our heart grieved? Why are you grieved? Am I not better than he? See, you know they had to have a good relationship for him to say something like that. <laughs> Am I not better than what? <laughs> she was a godly woman. Because I can see some of y'all right now. Your neck would be spinning like y'all was in the exorcist. <laughs>
turned to the only one. The only one. That could help her with her situation. She was devoted to her God. Amen. Listen, mothers, whatever you do, stay devoted to God. Amen. If that dusty-eyed man doesn't want to do it, don't Amen. let him stop you Amen. from being devoted to your God.
trying to get anything else. I need to do what? I need to try God. And that's why I'm saying that the profile of a godly mother, that she will always be devoted to her God. Amen. And we understand that when she got to church, Eli was sitting over against the post. He saw that Hannah was pouring out her heart to God. Mouth moved. Nothing coming out. She had to explain to him, I'm not drunk, not, no, nor do I ever drink. Don't put me in the cast, in that classification of the wicked woman. I am a woman of God. And I poured out my heart to God. Now there, there's something, something that all of us in here can be thankful for. Amen. Is a praying mother. Amen. A praying great grandmother. A praying great grandmother. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. We understood that we are not here because of who we are. We are here because someone prayed for us. Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. When we were out there dipping, mm -hmm. amen. Mm -hmm. When we were dodging, mm -hmm. slipping, sliding, thought mm -hmm. we were getting away with everything. Somebody was praying for our protection. Thank God for the mothers Amen. who still know how to pray for their children. Amen. Amen. I saw a young Shex night in the day. I said he's here because of his mama's prayer. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. If I don't know anything about that little bitty woman, he called his mom. <laughs> that she loves her children. Amen. Never cease. And that's what we have to be thankful for. Amen. Amen. Somebody, as the song says, pray for them. Amen. Amen. Had me on their mind. Amen. Took the time to pray for me. Amen. I'm so glad. Amen. I'm so glad they prayed Amen. for me. Amen. Amen. So we understand here yes. that she went away from her prayer experience, getting close to God. Expressing her desires to the Lord. Then she said, Now nah, I can eat. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. See, when we cast our burdens yeah. on Him, Amen. then we will know definitively that He cares for us. Amen. When we give Him our problem, He returns His peace. Amen. So Hannah said, Now nah, I can eat. Because I'm no longer the same. Mm -hmm. What did God do? What did God do? Watch it now. Watch it now. He gave her a son. Am I right? He gave her a son. Glory. And he called, and she called his name. Set. Lord have mercy. Why? Because I have asked him of the Lord. I don't know about you, but in, in this story, this thing is kind of flipped. Y'all do know that, right? right. Yeah. Usually the dads mm -hmm. came up with the name. Right. Y'all remember Rachel? Yeah. In, in, in her last dying day, right. she gave birth to who? That's what she called him. Right. But daddy said what? Benjamin. Benjamin. Yeah. Usually daddy's got the last say when it came down to what? Name. Yeah. But Hannah says, I'm named. Sandy, yeah. because he came from the Lord. Am I right about it? And mothers, I want you to understand that within you, you, you don't know. You don't know if greatness is going to come from your Amen. Yeah. Sandy was one of God's greatest men. Amen. That's right. Am I right about it? Oh, we can read about Eli. I'm so glad that Eli was able to, to raise the boy, took him to school. But we understand Eli had a problem at home. Amen. He didn't know how to handle those boys. Amen. Yeah, I don't know what Mrs. Eli was doing. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. Those boys didn't turn out to be much. Am I right about it? They couldn't take over for their daddy. God said, no way. No way I'm not going to let this happen. Amen. He raised up. Lord have mercy. Amen. Who 
who are we raising up today, brothers? Amen. Am I right about it? Are there any Samuels we gonna raise up in the church? Am I right about it? Huh? Huh? But maybe you've got a daughter. Are we raising up any Esthers in the church? Where are our future leaders going to come from? Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh, right. right. They got to be raised. That's right. They're not going to come riding yeah. out of the east. Yeah. I'm going to ride on a white horse and say, I'm here to save the church. No, 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 no. That's the hands of some godly mothers. Amen. I love what Hannah did. Amen. And she was devoted to her home. Amen. Notice I said she was devoted to her home, exactly. not to that boy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, I, I need to pause here. <laughs> I need to pause right here. I know I got to finish, but I need to pause right here. Yeah. Listen, don't have children to spoil them. Amen. 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 Don't don't have a child because you needed a playmate. Huh? I'm just being honest with you. Yeah, I was lonely, so I had a child. <laughs> No, you don't have a child to be your friend. Amen. Well, I'm glad y'all say no, but I've seen too much of it. I do too. You know, if you have that child, they can't do no wrong. You don't spoil them to death. And then when they get up some size, guess what? You say, what have I done? Well, you should have consulted with them all. You didn't tell you how to raise them right. Hannah was devoted to her home. Amen. She understood what needed to be done. Amen. She understood that I'm only going to have this fellow for a little while. Because right. I made a pact yeah. that if God you give me this child, right. I'm going to give him back. Yeah. Church, let me tell you something. Any mother that's a godly mother uh -huh. wants to raise whether it's a son or a daughter to be used in God's service. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's right. He's just not your old playmate. No, right, right. God gave him to him. You better make sure that you are. You are on a process of giving that child back. Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. And please make sure you give God something to work with. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. If you can. Amen. Amen. That's right. She was devoted to her home. She knew what she had to do. Amen. What, what do I have to do? Well, I gotta wait for the child to get six weeks old, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna take him over to the sister Cookie. I know to see if I can get him where Sister Cookie works, because she she's a member of the church. She's been watching. All right. Wait, wait, that sister Cookie. Tutor time. Yeah, tutor. If six weeks, I can get him in the tutor time, and then I can do what I want. <laughs> Y'all remember the days, some of us didn't remember the days, that you would have the child and uh, the doctor that gave you the okay. You come strutting in the church and them old sisters look at you. <laughs> Don't you got that boy out too early? <laughs> See, I can tell I'm getting old. <laughs> They would ask you that question, am I right? Don't y'all think y'all got that boy out too early? Yes. This guy ain't good for it. Yes. Now it seems we have a child and we be counting that. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Well, I gotta count this down because I gotta get back to work. No, 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 you just didn't understand what God gave you. He gave you work. Right. He gave you work. Your work is to do what? To raise your child. That's why I said she was devoted to her own home. She raised the boy right. You were right about it. She understood. Y'all remember that? That, that, that? that her husband said, hey, it's time for us to go up. Oh, no. She said, oh, no. I can't go over, Joe. No, no. My job is to stay here to do what? I got to raise this boy. I got to wean him. I wish, I wish, see the society's got us running here, there, and there, so we can get back to right. that. Mm -hmm. That mothers understood that they have a 
child to do and you don't have that long to do it because before you know it, they're going to be up and out. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
she was raising the son of God. Amen. Amen. And there were some things that Jesus did. Yeah. But guess what Mary said? Yeah. I keep them with I keep them all in my heart. Amen. Yeah. I'm just going to love them. I'm going to love them. And we understand. We understand that Jesus knew who she was. Oh, yeah. Because when he was on the cross, yeah. when he was on that cross, out of all that was in the crowd, yeah. he looked out. Uh -huh. Guess who he saw? He saw his mom. Am I right about it? Am I right about it? Oh, I know you're jeering at me. I know you want to like me. I know that you wish that I would die, but I got to say goodbye to my mama. Amen. 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 Jesus said, yeah. You see that fellow next to you? Yeah. You see him? Yeah. He's not your son. Oh, yeah. John, do you see that woman next to you? Yeah. That's your mother. Yeah. I gotta leave here. Yeah. But you take care of her. Oh, yeah. 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 Don't tell me that mothers don't make an imprint. Oh, yeah. Amen. Either good or bad. Because yeah. every time I think about that duel, y'all remember Jezebel? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember her, right? right yeah. Well, you do know she had children. Am I right about it? Yeah. And her husband, yeah. Ahab. Yeah. They were had some bad children. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to be honest with you. Right. Amen. <laughs> but I ain't talking about that mom. Yeah. I'm talking about the profile of a yeah. godly yeah. mom. Thank God for you today. Yeah. I hope I said something to encourage you. Yeah. But we ought to be mindful. Mm -hmm. See, fathers, I can just flip the script. Because it fits with us too. Am I right about it? Amen. 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 We should be devoted to our wives. Amen. We should be devoted to our God. Amen. And we should be devoted to our home. Amen. Amen. Right about right. it? Amen. So it doesn't change. No. It doesn't change just because I'm talking about Hannah. Because see, sometimes on these days, these days, brothers get a pass. No, they don't. No, they don't. No. No, they don't. They don't. They don't. You don't get a pass. No. Because we understand that God has placed us where? As the head. That's right. Am I right about it? Amen. He places us at the head of home. So God bless you today. I hope, I hope, I trust. I said something to encourage you. And, and now it's decision time. It's decision time. See, Sister Davis, she decided when she came through the door this morning. I like That's that. Right. Come on, yeah. go with your mind made up. Guess Amen. what? It's time. Let's just go ahead and do it. Am yeah, I right about that? So, so now she is our sister Christ. in Christ. Yeah. yeah, but there may be somebody else in the audience that wants to say yes to Jesus. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. That is why we're here. Amen. That's why the doors are open. Amen. That the gospel may be proclaimed. That's right. Amen. There's no true fact that whether you're father or mother, whether you're a son or a daughter, you need Jesus. Amen. That is the reason that God gave him. Amen. Came down from his heavenly home. He lived among us a sinless Amen. life Amen. for about 33 years. Amen. Went to the cross of Calvary. Amen. They hung him high, stretched him wide. They thought that they were going to kill him, but he said, no man takes my life. Amen. I free. Yeah. I freely give it. I'm yeah. alright about it. Amen. So he gave up the ghost, put his head in the lock of his shoulder. Yeah. He was dead. Mm. But that old soldier came by wanting to hasten his death by breaking his leg. Uh -uh. No. But he took his spear and pierced him in the side. Amen. Thank God for the piercing. But yeah. well, out of his side came blood and water. Yeah. Am I right about it? The water is to wash. Right. The blood is to cleanse our Amen. sin. Stay so Amen. to make us fight. Yes. Amen. So we thank God. Amen. Because Jesus proclaimed before he even left, before Amen. he hung on the cross, that the shedding of his blood was, was going to be for the remission or forgiveness of all humanity's sins. Amen. 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 They took Jesus off the cross Amen. as a dead man. Yeah. Put him in the tomb as a dead man. Yeah. But after being there for three days and three nights, yeah. he oh. broke. Amen. Amen. Living. Yep. Never to die again. Amen. All we have to do is believe that because that is what he did to save humanity from yeah. their sins. Yeah. When I say humanity, I'm talking about you and I'm talking about me. Amen. There is only one way that anyone Amen. can be saved. Amen. And that's for obedience to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Paul said, Amen. it has power. Amen. Am I right?
right about me? I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. Now what we're asking today, does somebody believe Amen. that gospel story? Amen. That's having faith. Am I right about that? And faith comes by hearing the word of God. Yes. And after you believe the story of Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection, then you've got to say to yourself, what is that I have to do? I do believe, just like they did on the day of Pentecost. They believe, but they ask, what shall we do? Yeah. Peter said, yeah. first of all, you've got to repent. Yeah. Am I right about it? Right. You have to repent. You've got to turn away from that old life, and you've got to start walking life anew yeah. in Christ. Yeah. And see, this is what I love about Jesus. That he left us an example. Amen. That we should follow in his right. steps. Amen. He did no sin. That's right. Neither was any guile found in Amen. his mouth. So if we just turn away from all of that mess and stuff and junk. Amen. And just follow the example of Christ. Amen. We will be well on our way. Amen. I call that true repentance. Am I right about it? Somebody told me once that you have to turn all the way around. I said, no, no, that's too far. That's too far. That's too far. Because if you turn all the way around, you're still facing the same direction. You know what I'm about? You just need to do what? An about faith. Just a 180. Don't do a 360. Am I right about it? Just do a 180. Amen. Follow Jesus. And after you, you, you repent, then you must confess that Jesus is the Son of God. Am I right about it? And after you make that confession, that you believe that Christ is indeed the Son of God. Please understand that this confession is not just something you say. It's something you do. Because once you elevate Christ to where he is, then guess what? You subject yourself to him. Amen. You put him above you. Amen. And it will always be that way. Colossians 1.18 says, in Christ, we must have the preeminence. Amen. First and after you acknowledge who Christ is, then you must be baptized in water Amen. for the remission of sins. Brother yeah. called me up. I like to get these phone calls. Talk to me about baptism. I said, what did you want to know about baptism? Is it essential for salvation? Yes. yes. Man, I can find no one mm -hmm. after the cross. Right. Now don't tell me what Jesus did before the cross. No. Right. no. Told a woman caught, caught in adultery? Oh, Sin no more. Right. Am I right about it? Yeah. Right. What do you do? Yeah. All right. Thief on the cross? Yeah. Today? You be with me where? Well. You wasn't dead. Yeah. No. After the cross, yeah. you can find no one that is safe no. without being baptized. That's right. Yeah. That's Search your Bible. Right. I want to have to study. Yeah. If you can find anyone right. after the cross right. that was safe. Without baptism. Call me up. I'll give you my number. I want to stay with you. Amen. I came up. Amen. Acts chapter 2. Baptism. Yeah. Acts chapter 4. Baptism. Am I right about it? Even Simon the sorcerer. Baptism. Am I right about it? Going down to the Ethiopian unit. Baptism. Acts chapter 9. Paul. Saul. Baptism. Cornelius. Acts chapter 10. Baptized, am I right about it? Yeah. At 16, yeah. baptism yeah. in the jail, yeah. by the seashore, yeah. baptism, am I right about it? Yeah. And Peter said, the light figure, yeah. whereunto baptism doth all souls now save us. Amen. You must be baptized. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. I don't take any nonsense from right. these jack legs around and you talk about baptism, it's not essential. Show it to me in the Bible. Amen. Am I right about it? Right. Talk about baptism so great that guess what? He went all the way back to the days of, Amen. of, of Moses. Right. They were baptized where? Under the cloud. Am I right about it? Yeah. Wherever salvation is, there's going to be some more. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. Yes, you want to be saved, children of Israel? What do you got to do? I got to cross some water. Oh, yeah. Am I right about it? You pay children of Israel. You want to make it into the promised land? Yeah. What do I got to do? I got to cross some water. Yeah. Well, I've always been in the flat. Amen. Nicodemus, when he had the conversation with Jesus, uh -huh. yeah. he wanted to stay on a biological level. Because yeah. Jesus told him that a man must be born again. Yeah. Nicodemus looked at him and said, I went to school for a few days. He said, can a man enter a mother's womb 
When he's grown the second time, Jesus said, ah, you got it wrong. A man must be what? Born of the water and the spirit of the brother God. It's always in his way. Amen. Just like a child coming into the world. If he doesn't break in the water, guess what? His mom just got to wait. Am I right about it? Right. Got to wait till you do what? Break the water. Oh, that's nice. No. And it isn't it interesting that even Jesus mm -hmm. equated the church mm -hmm. as being his bride. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. Well, I think that's what God And guess what women do? Mm -hmm. Give birth. Right. Where are people Amen. born again? In the bride of Christ, right. which Amen. is the church of Christ. Right. Yes. Am I right about that? Right. And if you want to be one of the children of God, right. you must be born That's right. of Amen. 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 Right. Am I right about that? Yes. You must be born. Amen. So I hope somebody in here wants to say yes to Jesus. Yes. If there's somebody viewing this on Facebook, mm -hmm. you say, well, I don't believe that, Richard. Just call. Amen. But all I want you to do is bring an open mind and open body. Amen. And I don't want to hear about what preacher so and so said. I want to hear what God said. Amen. 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 Right. And I tell people every time I study with them, listen, I want to study because if I'm wrong, I want to be correct. Amen. Amen. I don't want to miss heaven. Because I'm preaching something that just is not found way in the Bible. Right. So if you can straighten me out, please do so. Because I care for your soul and I want you to care for That's my soul. Right. Amen. 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 But as of yet, Amen. I haven't found anything in you. Amen. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to stand on the word of God. Amen. Amen. Somebody in here may need to repent of sin. Amen. Now this is not just a sermon for mothers. Amen. You know what? Sometimes as fathers, we mess up more than mothers. Amen. Right? Amen. <laughs> It's just a time for somebody to get it right if you haven't done so. Amen. Am I right about it? If you understand that you violated God's principles, His promises, you need to do something about it. Amen. And once you acknowledge that you've done wrong, guess what? Heaven forgives. That's right. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to pray for you. And guess what we're not going to do? We ain't going to ask you what you did. That's right. Amen. 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 Well, look, look, can I change that? I'm not going to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Brother Nathan, you not either? All right, that's the next tour. I'm going to let everybody speak for themselves. All right, all right. Amen. 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 So we will make sure that you understand once you repent of something that guess what? God forgives and guess what? I do too. Amen. And all I got to do is pray for you. Because this is what the Bible tells me. Just pray for you. Yeah, that's right. Maybe you hear you need prayer. Listen, I, 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 need, I need you to pray. Yeah. I please need you to pray. I don't know how my mom is taking the, 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 the news about her good friend passing. I don't know. But she's not well herself. Pray for her. Amen. Okay, pray for that family, the McCoy family. Pray for them. Uh, pray for uh, Sister Pat Frazier. I heard from her. She was able to text me this morning. She's yeah. a dear sister from Rochester, but she's been in the hospital battling COVID-19. And she said, Brother Walker, I'm feeling better. Amen. Amen. Just a few more days. Just a few more days. She had pneumonia real bad. She said, in just a few more days, I'll be going home. I said, Amen. thank God for that. Amen. Amen. Woo, that's good news. I'm all right about it. Amen. 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 So, so, so let, let, let's pray uh, uh, for Sister Pat. Pray for her Amen. that things will be well. Amen. And, and, and that God will bless her. And, and whatever you do, pray, pray for our children. Amen. Right? Thank you. They are always on our hearts. Yeah. Okay? More Amen. on their mother's heart than on mine. Yeah. All right? But you have to understand, when she's worried, that worry is who? Me. All right. So let, let I just ask you to pray for our children. Amen. Yeah. Because see what you don't know uh, all the time is when you are out of uh, out of sight of your children, right. you don't know what they're doing. Right. 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 Yeah. But see, mamas have feelings. Yeah. That's right. right. Yeah. They know when their children are doing right. Amen. Right. And I've heard the conversations that mama has with them. Mm. Right. So I'm, I'm just praying that our children just wake up and do right. Amen. Right. Amen. That's it. Amen. You know, we, 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 we way away from them, right? Right, right? But I don't want their soul to be damned in hell. Amen. Because they say, well, mom and daddy ain't here. Right. Well, you don't need to be worried about us. God is still here. Amen. 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 Didn't we just read that in Psalms 139? Amen. That there's not a place that I could ever go. Amen. That God isn't. Amen. Amen. Right. He's right there. Amen. Amen. Right. So pray for
pray for our children as we pray for you. Amen. We're going to be standing and singing that song of encouragement if you do need to respond. You need baptism, you need rededication, you need ask for prayer. This is the time.
mercy, dear God. Yeah. First of all, thank you, dear God, for the blessings you've given us, dear God. You allowed us to open our eyes to see a day which we've never seen before, yeah. dear God. You allowed us here in this building, Heavenly Father, to get in our cars and drive from our homes yeah. to this building, Heavenly yeah. Father, that we may worship and praise you. Yeah. We pray for those, Heavenly Father, and uh, that are viewing on Facebook, Heavenly Father. You allowed them, Heavenly Father, to, to wake up, Heavenly and put God on their heart, Heavenly Father. As they listen to him this morning, yeah. we pray that your servant, Heavenly Father, said something this morning that changed the heart, dear God. Yeah. We thank you for Sister Davis, Heavenly Father, yeah. who knew it was time, Heavenly Father, to give herself to you before it was everlasting too late. Yeah. We pray that we, as a Christian family, will show her Christian <laughs> love, Heavenly yeah. Father, and we will be examples to her, Heavenly Father, during her walk with thee, Heavenly Amen. Father. Let us put our arms of love around her, Heavenly Father, and show her, dear God, that this is a Christian family, dear Amen. God. Amen. We pray, Heavenly Father, for those who filled out cards. Some have filled out cards asking for, uh, for those who are ill in their families or loved ones, Heavenly Father, that you touch their bodies, Heavenly Father. Give them a reason of help, Heavenly Father. Amen. Be with those, Heavenly Father, who are stricken with this virus, Heavenly Father. Yeah. We know that the doctors don't have the last word with you, do yeah. Heavenly yeah. Father. We know that you have the strength and the power and that you are more than able, Heavenly yeah. Father, yeah. to raise them out of their hospital yeah. 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 beds, Heavenly Father, and give them breath in their, in their lungs, Heavenly Father, and yeah. allow them to get out of those hospital beds, dear yeah. God. We just pray that you be with them. Yeah. We pray, Heavenly Father, for those who have lost loved ones, who have heavy hearts this morning, dear Lord, God. Mercy. We pray for the McGowan family, Heavenly mm -hmm. Father. We pray that those family members who will be leaving Arizona, Heavenly Father, will make it safe and sound back to their, their, their home, Heavenly Amen. Father. We pray that all is well at their home while they were away, dear yeah. God. We pray for Brother Nate Phillips, Heavenly Father, mm -hmm. who lost his life, Heavenly yeah. Father. We pray that you give him comfort, dear God. Amen. Yeah. We praise the mothers, Heavenly Father, and we, 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 we thank you, Heavenly Father, for the mothers who are yeah. present here today. Yeah. But we thank you, Heavenly Father, for the mothers that have passed away, Heavenly yeah. Father. Yeah. Who, those mothers who build us up, Heavenly Fathers, and taught us the, le the lessons that we need to learn as Christians. Yeah. Yeah. We thank you for them. And the grandmothers, Heavenly Father, who've gone on younger, yeah. Heavenly Father, we thank you for them, dear God. We pray, Heavenly Father, for those, Heavenly Father, uh, who are traveling at this time, Heavenly Father, we pray, Heavenly Father, that all is well with them, Heavenly Father, yeah. as they're on the road, dear God. We pray, Heavenly Father, for every member of this congregation, whether yeah. they're here or not, Heavenly Father, that you will keep them safe, Heavenly Father, and that they will keep their faith strong in thee, Heavenly yeah. Father, and they will study your word, Heavenly Father, yeah. that we all can make heaven our own, Heavenly Father. Yeah. Let us not forget the job that we have to do as Christians, Amen. that we must go out into this world and teach your word, no matter how we must do it, Heavenly Father. Even during this time, we still have an obligation as Christians, Heavenly Father, to pass that word on to folks. Dear yeah. God. Just pray, Heavenly Father, you continue to be with our manservant, Brother Jeffrey Walker. We pray Amen. for our elders, Brother Holloway, Brother Thompson. We pray for Brother Dunn, Heavenly Father. We pray for their wives, Amen. Heavenly Father. We pray that you continue, Heavenly Father, to put it in their minds to lead this congregation in a way that is pleasing to thee, Heavenly yeah. Father. We pray for other churches of Christ within this country, within this state, yeah. Heavenly Father. We pray that they understand that they must stick to the doctrine in a way yeah. that it was yeah. presented yeah. to God. Yeah. We pray for every church, Heavenly Father. Yeah. We just pray, Heavenly Father, we thank you for our visitors, Heavenly Father. Father, who put it in their mind to come to Tonto to worship this morning. We Amen. thank you for them. We pray, Heavenly Father, at the next appointed time, if they want to come back, that the doors will be open. Dear God. Amen. Continue to be with each and every one of us. In Jesus' name, let us all say Amen. 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 Amen.
share the communion with our Lord. As it stated on this table, this do in remembrance of me. Amen. Those are the words of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I will read to you from Matthew chapter 26, verses 26 and following, as our Savior.
Amen. I wish I could say that the mothers are going out to eat, but I can't say that. 
The mother was going out for takeout. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But but I, I want us before we leave, this, especially those that are on Facebook here, those that are with us here, please be mindful that the Church of Christ, Council Church of Christ, has an act. Please make sure if you are capable, download the app. All right? It'll do you good. In this time, we have a, a, a difficulty of reaching everybody. Right. But you can do that through the app. Mm -hmm. You know, we have people moderating the app. If there's a prayer request, you know, if there's a funeral, you know, we, we would have better connectivity if people just had the app on their phone and they will know what's going on. So you could submit prayer requests. There's going to be information about events. Mm -hmm. You can also give through the app. It is all right there on this device that we keep with us all the time. So please do us a favor uh, as brothers and sisters of one another. It is just another tool. It's not the only tool, but it's just another tool that we can use to stay connected. And we need to do that. Remember now, socially distance. Amen. Spiritually connected. Amen. All right. So the right. app will help us do that. All right. So go up to your app store, whether you got an Android or an iPhone, download, be on your phone, sign in. It's right there for you. Okay. No. All right. And please, whatever you do, make sure you enable those of us who know about this. Enable your notifications so if something comes up, then you'll see it on the screen. All right. That enables the notification. But again, it will help. It will help us stay together. All right. Now, there's a few words. That uh, Brother Thompson, one of our elders, would like to say to us, and we will get away from him before we dismiss. You come on. All right.
say that, you know, sometimes elders, like preachers, get asked all kinds of questions. And I know that because I've been also a minister for many years, even though I retired from the pulpit at the moment. And one of the things is, is that uh, how should we worship God? What is the church? All kinds of questions. But I just I don't want to say this, first of all, we know that the building is not the church. Amen. Mm -hmm. Know that our relationship to God is an individual relationship, mm -hmm. and we can worship God uh, under tree if necessary. However, it should be a joyful thing for Christians who want to come together Amen. and worship, especially if there's a local church with the members. And so, it's a choice made by each individual if they come and worship or not. Because one day God is going to call us to be with the Lord. That's right. Mm -hmm. And when he does, we want to know that he's well with our soul. Amen. And so elders like preachers, we don't want to tell people what they have to do. Mm -hmm. We just let you know what God is asking you to do. Mm -hmm. And let you know what our plans are. My plan for my family is to worship God in fellowship at the local congregation here at Compton. Mm -hmm. Amen. Where I've been with my family for no. And I don't have any plans to leave. I told the congregation when I came, I plan to go ahead with my here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll be where everybody else is. And I have no, no authority over that. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy to say that we enjoy our stay. That we, we, we have blessed us. We've got children grow up here. Mm -hmm. My youngest child is 45 years old. Mm -hmm. I won't call any names because you, I do have to live Huh. And my oldest is 57 years old this year. Amen. So that's young or something. But they have their individual souls to save as well as my wife and myself. Amen. We are, we are, we are, the Lord blessed us since September 4th. We will have been married 60 years. Amen. So God has blessed us. Amen. We just want to say, I just thought that we need to say something to the media. Thank you for choosing us to fellowship with. Mm -hmm. And while the opportunity allows me, I have a lot of friends across the world and family, give me a chance to say hello to you and thank you for fellowship with us. Amen. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to be, <coughs> as I'm always accused of being long winded, but I'm not going to be long winded today. Mm -hmm. Somebody said you should have sat down there. <laughs> <laughs> so I just have to say again, <laughs> it's a joy. The greatest position you can ever be in in this whole world is to be a Christian. Amen. Amen. And the greatest place you can ever go is to heaven when we leave here. Amen. Amen. Thank you again. And whether, whether you are on the media, across the world, across the city, mm -hmm. it's your choice. Mm -hmm. I will not tell you how to make what choice to make. That's your decision. Mm -hmm. I will rejoice in you being here. Amen. <coughs> Thank you again. God bless you. <clears throat> Hope that if the mothers are having a good time and we'll have a good day today. Yeah. And all of us have really enjoyed being here in fellowship. Mm -hmm. We miss those who are not able to be here. Yeah. And we hope that you are fellowshipping with us as well. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. God bless you. And God keep you always. And if we don't see you ever again, whether you're local or across the world, I look forward to seeing you when we meet together around the corner.
today? No. You have blessed us to come safely here. We pray that you bless us and go on safely. No. We pray that those who are fellowship among us across the region, that you bless them as well. No. Uh, bless those who are Bless those who are sick. Mm-hmm. Keep them. Bless them that receive good help once again as the year will. No. Be with those who are traveling. Mm-hmm. Bless them safely through their connection. No. And Father, we pray for this time that we're in. If we ever look to you, know we trust mm-hmm. for all things work together for good of those who love the Lord and, and to do things according to his will. No. Be with us now. Keep us in your care. Till we meet again without the loss of one. Sure. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.